Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, Rebuildable Ryan. Happy Memorial Day to all, and thank you to all that have served our country and lost our lives. Also, thank you to everybody that is currently serving our country. We thank you all. <clears throat> now, today, we have something a little bit special. I'm sure you saw it in the title, but this is not an, an everyday, run-of-the-mill product. Today, we are going to be going down low with the Vicious Ant Full Juma Spade Mechanical Squonker. So, without further ado, let's take it down low, have a look at the ins and outs, come back up top, and I'll give you my opinion on it. I want to add into the intro of this something I didn't add in. Um, this is going to be a little bit different of a review. This is a high-end product. You can't really buy it new unless you find it from somebody. I just kind of wanted to bring it to the channel to show this piece of art. It's not going to be like a normal review as I would do on, say, a, an RDA everybody is looking to buy. It's going to be a little bit more of like a showcasing of a product and kind of giving my opinion on it, but it's not going to be a 100% normal review. I just kind of wanted to bring it to the channel because it's a beautiful piece of art. So, we'll see you on the down low. Alright, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we are down low with the Vicious Ant Juma Spade Mechanical Mod. This will be the box that it comes in. It just looks like a normal Vicious Ant Spade box. Right in this corner you will have the Vicious Ant symbol. Yeah, just a normal Vicious Ant Spade box. It's going to flip open on this side. You got magnets here. It'll flip open. And then here you will get your, what I will show you in a second, your extra bottle. And the mod will be right here. So, yeah, typical, nice, vicious ant packaging, cushions around it, keep the mod nice and safe. Inside of the packaging, you will receive this little vicious ant thank you card and social media. It says right here at the bottom, stay vicious. You will also receive this little extra pouch, which is going to have an extra O-ring, and this little extra pin for the mod. And, just like any other spade, you will get your little keychain and a little Vicious Ant carrying container, just like I showed in the last spade video. It's got the O-rings on it. It just sits in there and has the same connection that the mod has on the inside so it pops in just like that boom nice resistance on it so coming to this Juma mod here so <clears throat> the squonk bottle will obviously be sitting right there in that spade cut out back of the mod you got that nice snakeskin Juma same on the back side this little cutout right here is on all the Jumas. I'm not sure if that's for venting or what. I don't really think it is, but it's on all the Jumas. Bottom, you will have your turn to connect for the battery, which is, I'll show you on the inside how that works. Fire button on the front here. Yeah. And 510 connection. It's going to say Vicious Ant. And let's see if I can get this to focus here. It'll say 263 on the 510 there. Now this is a flathead adjustable 510 pin. Um, it is not on a spring. You will turn it with a, fi with a flathead to adjust the 510. And also, that is also where you will take... That's part of the... the um, the whole assembly on the inside to take apart the inside which I'll just show you real quick but I'm not going to take it apart so the door Juma door fits very nicely in the grooves I'm missing one of the magnets as freaking usual with my other spade but you're supposed to have three magnets there nice solid Juma door perfectly matches the mod itself coming to the inside of the mod you're going to see you have positive and negative, so that's going to be your battery configuration. <clears throat> you will have the V double V's signifying the Vicious Ant logo. Now coming to the mechanism in here, you're going to see the fire button is going to push back 
and right there it's going to make connection right on this guy here and that is what is going to complete your circuit simple simple little setup now when you fully unthread that flathead in there it will drop it will drop this down here and then you will take like I would recommend using tweezers like these guys right here in order to get that out of there that'll just turn and you want to tighten that up as snug as you can without damaging anything don't use metal tweezers because it might put some scratches in there and that's not going to be very nice <clears throat> so the way that your connection is going to work here and in my opinion I like how this one feels over the Yihi one that I have it just feels more solid and so you'll back this out here and then you will just drop a cell in and tighten it up I'll show you how that works in one second alright so here we have a 20s 18650 we're gonna go positive up I like to just kinda push it up into the positive contact and then turn this here you want to go snug and then just after it's snug just give it a tiny bit of a turn so that it's nice and, and tight in there and making a good connection you don't want to over crank it so now you have power obviously there is no RDA on there <clears throat> so this is gonna work just like any other regular spade connection there and it is interchangeable with all other vicious amp bottles and you're just gonna line up that top there and give her a push just like so and then throw the door and there you go so I just wanted to show the size difference here we have a Yihi spade and this is the mechanical they're about the same in the height they're both 18 650s you can just see the, the one without the chip is much skinnier because it's not housing a chip. It's just a much smaller mod <clears throat> this way. And the other difference is, obviously you both have the spade cut out right on the front. The one with the chip has a fire button in the rear. And the one with the mech is firing directly in the front. Both have the five tens in similar placements and the only difference is this one is a limited number so it does say number uh, 263 on the top now one of the issues is <clears throat> this 510 does it's on a little nipple in there so let's see if I can all right I'm gonna have to put an atomizer on to show you all right so I just put the Gen RDA on and I have the beauty ring for the mod here and the only way you're gonna be able to see this is by watching in here the whole mechanism if I turn back and forth you can see that it's turning in there and <clears throat> what it is is up here on the 510 connection there's a little nipple that goes into the box and there's just a little extra room that allows it to move back and forth no matter how much you tighten that right there or anything it's gonna keep moving or eventually start to move so there we have the vicious ant juma mechanical spade with the jenna on top and the matching beauty ring and uh, we're gonna go up top and I'm gonna give you guys my opinions on this box mod All right, so that was a very quick down low. Not much to show with this. No chip, back mod, no build. It's a mod. Uh, basically, I showed you everything with the exception of pulling the internals rate right apart, which I just did last week and cleaned everything, so I don't want to do it again. Sorry. <clears throat> Anyways, so we have the beautiful green Vicious Ant full Juma 18650 mechanical spade. 
That is a fucking mouthful. We got the Jenna sitting on top with a nice little clear drip tip. Um, so, let's get right into it. I'm going to start with cons. Okay. Con number one. Just like the regular, any other regular spade that's an 18650, I don't know about the 21700s, the bottles themselves, <clears throat> you have to just be careful with squonking them because if you press too hard, what will happen is the bottle will pop out of the little um, like bracketry area here. So if you squonk too hard down here, it might pop out here. You'll lose your seal at that point. You'll pop the bottle out, have to put it back in there. Not a big deal, but it becomes a pain in the ass. Um, when I got my first spade, which was the Yeehee one, um, that was something I didn't know about. I had to adapt to the mod and uh, learn not to squonk it hard like I would, say, the topside mod. So it's just kind of a light press and you don't want to slam it in there because it'll end up, the air will pop that seal on the top and you'll just have to take it out, put it back in. So that's con number one. That was a, That's a con with all the 18650 spade squonk bottles. <clears throat> con number two um, is going to have to be that the 510 connection. It's It has a little bit of wiggle room. It, it's not enough to affect anything, but... Um, it's just a little bit annoying. This mod is not cheap at all, so I feel like that's something that should have been looked at. But um, it is what it is. Now, this isn't going to be a con, but um, so right here I have an SQ squonker. They're both 18650s. The SQ has full silver, inter solid silver internals. Thing hits like a truck. This does not have full silver internals. Um, therefore, it does not hit as hard as the SQ does. Now, to me, this is more of an art piece. It's not something like the SQ that you're going to take out and maybe vape. All the, the SQ isn't that cheap either. But I feel like for the price point that this is at, maybe it should probably hit as good as the SQ does, but um, I'm not going to give that a con because I, I look at this more of an art piece. It's just something I want to put out there to, to let that be known. It does not hit like an SQ does. It hits, it's not the strongest hitter. I'd say this guy right here, the Redeemer Squonk, hits just a touch harder than this guy does. But also this takes a 21700, so... Um, that's just something I wanted to throw out there. Now, as far as cons go, that's really all I have. Moving on to the pros, I mean, it's a Vicious Ant full Juma limited number run spade. I mean, there's not as many as these as there are of these guys right here. So that's a pro in itself. You're probably not gonna be able to go online, find one of these to pick up. Um, retail before shipping and everything was about 380 for these when they came out so definitely not a cheap mod <clears throat> the machining and, and the quality on the mod is fucking beautiful um, you there's just really no blemishes in it whatsoever the finish is amazing it's got the gloss finish on the outside and the inside of the box it, itself like the back of this door it's matte and there's just no scratches anywhere around. Um, yeah, very simple firing setup. It just kind of pushes back into there. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing that. Because I only use one light in my up top, whereas I use two on my down low, so it's not as bright. Um, the fire button is on the front of the mod. Um, some people may like that. I didn't think I was going to be a fan of it before I received this mod, but I'm actually enjoying it. Another pro of it, comparing it to the regular spade. Now, when I got my first regular spade, I was like, holy shit, this thing is tiny. I was impressed by the size of it. Then I got this, and I was like, oh my god, this thing is it's so small. And I got used to using this one, and I went back to use my Yeehee one, and I was like, oh wow. So I think that the Mech 18650, it fits in the hand better. You can just see like my hand kind of grasps around 
the the mech a little bit better my pinky just kind of falls underneath it so i think it's more comfortable than the dna or the yee 18650 spade the battery connection on the bottom that you tighten up into the battery i think it's a a, a better better made than <clears throat> the one that is in this box mod here this one kind of just goes into the box because this is a juma box they have like a metal insert for the uh, threading to go into whereas the box on this one is a type of metal i'm not sure if it's what type of metal it is but it threads right into the box so i enjoy the one on this one more no <sighs> No vicious amp mod that I've ever held in my hand that has a removable door has any type of wiggle room whatsoever. The door is solid. It does not move in your hand whatsoever at all. Um, yeah, it will fit a 24 without overhang. And that's really all I have for it. It's, it's up to you what you want to do. Um... If you're a high-end type of person and you can find one of these off of somebody and you want to shell the price for it, I would recommend buying it. If you're not a high-end person, maybe you're just watching this video to see something a little different. But uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend it. They have different color schemes. Um, you can pick this little beauty ring which will fit a 22 millimeter you just have to adjust the 510 inside the mod to bring it up to be able to touch the 510 pin on your rda that's the only reason why i'm not running the ring on this right now because i didn't adjust it to uh reach the 510 pin on this jenna but the rings will will fit a 22 millimeter rda and make it about a 24 millimeter and they also have a matching 510 drip tip um, for me the drip tip is very small um, but it is what it is it's kind of like to me this isn't something i use this is something i keep in the box that i know i have it i'll break it out very seldomly time to time and play with it like probably all tonight i'll use it but I'll use my SQ Squonker and use the shit out of this. For me, this is just a piece of art. So that's why I wanted to do the review on this because I thought it was something a little bit different and special. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, we will see you tomorrow with another review. Like I said, happy Memorial Day, everybody. Take advantages of some sales that are happening today. Um, I have a Stormbreaker coming in, so you'll see a review for a Stormbreaker mod shortly. I'm going to do the SQ mod. I got the C4 RDA and like the FP RTA. There's just a bunch of things that will be coming to the channel that are here in front of me right now, plus a bunch of juices from EMB. So stay tuned if you want to see that stuff. I've never said this before in a video, but I guess I'm going to subscribe if you want to. Everybody, have a good night. Thank you for stopping by.